Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another day on MJC Blogs. So, I've been spending a lot of my day trying to get stuff taken care of around here. Currently working on the vlog at the moment, trying to get that uploaded and scheduled to go live at 6 p.m. Still haven't really figured out what I want to do as far as advertising the conference within this vlog, but hopefully by the end of the day or the end of the weekend, I figure something out. Also got the main channel video rendering right now, the rainy day short film. I just said screw it when it came to color grading everything because I actually just started rendering the video right now and it's going to take an hour and a half to two hours for the video to render itself out because of all of the editing within the video. So doing the color grading would have taken me another 45 minutes and the video probably wouldn't go out until almost seven, eight o'clock tonight because I still have to do the thumbnail as well. So in the long run, I just decided it was better to move ahead without it. Obviously, it would have made the video a lot better, but to be 100% honest, I don't think it really needed to be messed with at all because the footage looked absolutely amazing. It fit that vibe of that dark dark, you know, gloomy, rainy day outside, fit with the music perfectly, so it was just exactly what I wanted. Moving a little behind schedule on things right now, but just got done proof watching the main channel video, and it looks absolutely friggin' amazing. And exactly one hour after the last clip, I am just finishing up the thumbnail right now and exporting it. I figured out Photoshop, I figured out Lightroom, and it was just being really slow, but now that is done and I can finally get the video uploaded. So while I was vacuuming earlier today, I kind of found out what happens to a paperclip when you suck it up. This thing got absolutely wrecked. Just finished everything with the main channel video. Go check it out guys. The link is down in the description below if you have not seen it yet. And trust me, you want to check it out. It's a really awesome video. So now that that's all taken care of, I can finally get to mowing this lawn it really needs to be done with the amount of rain that we've been getting lately it just grows absolutely insane within a week's time it's not too bad this week but it's to the point now where you need to do it every single week i was actually supposed to mow this lawn like two hours ago but with everything running as slow as it was today i literally could not do it whatsoever i had to move from my room to the living room just to get the vlog to upload because the internet was running so slow today and then adobe Photoshop and Lightroom are running slow. It was just one thing after another, but I'm happy that everything is out of the way and I hope you guys are enjoying both the videos. Everything is all ready to go. Time to start mowing the lawn. I just hope I have enough gas in here because when I was taking a lawnmower out, I was not filming whatsoever, but I kind of accidentally knocked the gas can over and we don't have like a closed cover on it to where if it tips upside down, nothing's gonna spill. This decided to spill. I'm always doing something stupid. So where the hell you been? We called you like three times. We saw you kill a Halloween, haven't seen you since. And we get it. We know you working hard, we know you've been spending. But come on, come and spend an hour with us, man. Cause we miss you. No, man, I'm sorry, y'all been gone. Basement, do 
student loans, I got payments Like all this time that you wasted Like one more year would have changed it no. If I don't pray for it, then I don't slay for it And I work hard for this, so I'ma savor it I'm out here chasing great things Young man, would you change the world before it changed me? Big mistake We got the run now Judge him quick We got the run now Just wrapped up the front yard. This looks pretty good. Now the only thing left I gotta do up here is over in the street, like a bunch of grass just gets spit out of the mower. So I gotta blow that all back into our property and then the front yard will be done for now. Blowing up and I should be more in time when I'm showing up Time's the only thing valuable in life Why spinning in classes I didn't even Took a little bit of a break after I finished up the front lawn Now currently working on the backyard at the moment Just finished mowing the lawn There's a few little areas here and there that I've got to touch up and get to Like around the tiki torches and the deck area But other than that working on getting leaves up from all around the fence over here Working on up over here as well. Probably will not get to all of it tonight, but I am determined to make sure that this is all ready to go before the end of June. Because I've just been procrastinating day after day when I could be out here doing this. Plus a lot of the fact is we've had a lot of rain within the last month that it's just like you can't really figure out a day or plan out a day until you know what the weather is doing and you could be getting ready to go outside to do work and then within five minutes it just starts raining out of nowhere. And another beautiful sunset to enjoy while I do the yard work back here. This is what I love so much about the spring and the summertime is the sunsets that we get over here. And the front yard is like the prime spot to watch all of the sunsets. That's why I do all of my time lapses of the sunsets in the front yard because this is just absolutely breathtaking. Her body's go like September. She burns through the night like an ember. And all those things we try forgetting, I remember. But we say we all fine, we all fine. Sunny day dreams and we up now. Vodka lemonade, I serve it up, it goes down. 75 degrees and a dope sound. All you need to live fine, to live fine. A little sunshine, cause she need it. A dose of rainfall in the evening. And that'll be a wrap on the yard work for today. Starting to get too dark out there to see what you're doing. So it's just better that I come inside because what I was doing is I was mulching the leaves of the lawnmower and I don't think that's really safe to be using a lawnmower when it's pitch black outside. So I got everything cleaned up and put away for the night. Coming inside, putting some things away that I had out there, like my speaker and everything. Gonna clean up a little bit and then dinner is ready. My mom made breakfast tonight, so I'm gonna go enjoy that. Relax a little bit. The one thing I absolutely hate about mulching the leaves of the lawnmower is when stuff like twigs and rocks get caught in the blades and come flying up at you. And that's just exactly what happened here. It hurt a lot at first. Like it stung like a son of a bee. But I mean, it's fine right now. I just absolutely get annoyed with it. It's just something that you never get used to whatsoever because you're really not expecting it to happen. It's just like a surprise out of nowhere. Something comes flying, whether it's a piece of wood or it's a rock or whatever, and it comes flying pretty fast out from underneath that lawnmower. And around this time of year when I'm cleaning up leaves that didn't get picked up from last fall or when fall comes around at the end of the summertime, I get cut up pretty good whether it be on the legs or on the arms because I'm either wearing short sleeves or shorts and it just happens to be that way. It's not something that I like at all, but it's just something that 
that I kind of have to deal with. And I know the easiest solution to this problem is to just wear pants while I'm mowing the lawn, but I absolutely hate to do that, especially when it's like 60 degrees outside. Now, if it was like 30 degrees outside and I was like mulching leaves or whatever, I might consider wearing pants at that point, but I'm probably not going to be mowing a lawn or mulching leaves when it's 30 degrees outside, so. Got all of this awesome breakfast food right here. We got some biscuits, we got some potatoes, we got some gravy, and over here we got a little bit of bacon. Got everything on the plate, also heated some pancakes up in the microwave. Time to sit down and enjoy this. Only time I look back now is to see how far that I came. No, I've been grinding, boy. Yeah, sleep is scarce. Need it like water, you can see I'm parched. It's through my eyes that you see my heart. But through my lyrics, you can see my art. I know paradise awaits me. Always remember that first. But I don't have any problems with having that here on earth. So I'll put in that work. Why we're stuck in paradise? All of the sunshine. So it has been a few hours since I last vlogged. I want to say it's been like three hours since I filmed anything. And the last thing I filmed was dinner. So it's been a long time. But been just relaxing the entire time, checking analytics, watching YouTube videos. Actually just got off an hour long phone call with my grandmother, you know, just talking about anything that came to mind. We do that a lot of the time. She'll call me or I'll call her and we'll just sit and talk for about an hour or two, maybe once or twice a week, sometimes more than that. Just, you know, catch up on things, not really care at all and just let time fly by. I think the longest we've been on the phone is like two and a half hours before. We will get on a phone call and we will let just time fly by. We'll start the call and I look down at my phone and I'm thinking we've only been on the phone for five minutes and the phone will say like an hour and 15 minutes and I'm like holy crap that's a long time but really doesn't matter so I think I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog right here got a lot of editing to do on this and I gotta get to bed at a decent time because I gotta get up tomorrow because I'm going to work tomorrow I was supposed to go today actually and we just decided not to go it got too late and we're just like too tired plus I wanted to get more yard work done so we're gonna do everything tomorrow and then I think we're actually just gonna go to mass on Sunday because my sister's still sick and she just needs to rest and everything so she can go to school next week because next week's actually her last week of school and then exams begin I am so happy that I don't go to school anymore because I don't miss exams whatsoever now obviously I'm still going to college and everything but see here's the thing the college I'm going to is an online school and it's one class a month and then you take your final exam for that class at the end of the month I think it's a much better way of doing things rather than the way that your normal college like would do it or high school where you take all your classes for that semester and then at the end of the semester it's like okay final exam time or end of the year final exam time within like a two-week period and you're cramming and you're stressing out and you're just like I can't deal with this and you have all this anxiety built up that to me is just a horrible way of doing it and I always hated doing it especially like when my final exam for one of my classes was like two weeks after the last review session that we had for class Anyway, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to turn my post notifications on down below so you never miss when I upload a new video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another brand new daily vlog. Remember to stay awesome, keep smiling, you're beautiful, and I love you guys so much. Peace out, YouTube. I think I'm falling for my side. Now I really wanna kick it, I get